and welcome to Prime News. Now a look at the headlines. Seza Goa on Thursday lays off more than 1250 employees. Discussion between ITAC and management fails. Seza issues notices late in the evening. Gaming Commission of Casinos and Service Guarantee Act by February. Casino ban for Goans, says CM. Eight suspects in Vishnu Vag attack case get anticipatory bail. Mapsa court accepts anticipatory bail plea. One accused already released on bail. Union government refers Shah Commission report to Committee of Secretaries, Monitoring Committee of SC to be in Goa on 10th January. And heading into Lusophonia Games without test games will be harsh on Goan sportspersons. Is Lugok staring at a disaster? Now, news in detail. Seza Goa on Thursday laid off more than 1,250 employees. The finances of mining companies in Goa have begun sinking. This is the biggest layoff of employees Goa has ever witnessed. ITAC has extended support to Seza Goa employees facing a layoff. In a meeting with Seza Goa management and government, ITAC warned of law and order problems if they do not redress the issue soon. Seza Goa, one of the major stakeholders in Goan Mining, has laid off 1,250 employees. The Seza layoff is the biggest manpower cut Goa has ever seen. Seza, in a meeting with the ITAC, has spoken about their bleeding finances. Why? I mean, Seza Goa management and Amkan Khas meeting a couple. Yeah, meeting and management and Sagli Paristiti Mining Shetra and Jasa Tijabadalamka Vivar Nadili. And is Anglenki situation this and this wide Zata Shivai Barazaina. Ami Sangle Denka, Tumka, problem asa Anikite Ata Ya Timer to me notice the op, Kiva even notice the Upacha Vitsar Gorop, Yogani. So, I mean, whether you give a notice or you do an act of whether layoff or retrenchment, it is an act which is anti-labor. Kamgarancha virud. Temna let notice, I mean, ditle. Ani vagir kide steps geopa cha to me geat. Ani kamgaranche no kryo saurakshi door pak. Ami zusta le fude. Ani ami ogar auchana. We will take steps. Sashamunda mi sangla. पुढे लोक उठतलो आणि किते गोयंद उतांबळ जातली तजे फुल्ल जबाबदारी केंद्र सरकार आणि राज्य सरकार गोयंद सरकार आणि सेंट्रल गव्हर्नमेंट या दोघोय आहात दिनेश कर पे फॉर प्रूडेंट गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेक्ट्स 310 crores in its kitty by friday through ore dump plot conversion गवर्नमेंट हैज स्टिल नाउ कलेक्टेड 235 crores January 3 is the last date for companies to apply for dump plot conversion. CM said late payments will be charged 12% penal interest. CM has also assured Gaming Commission of Casinos by February 28 and Service Guarantee Act by January end. Goans will be banned from entering casinos. 235 crores have been credited according to my information. We are we are of the info, uh, the information with us indicates another 70-80 crore will be credited before tomorrow and maybe another 60 crores in next two months. Dump regular yeah, conversion at the time will law. So time will not be able to do it. If you have financial uh, strain, asa, he has been given up to March to pay it. Time period for payment with interest, provided he pays part of the payment by tomorrow. Tomorrow is the last day for the scheme. No, it's not dumb. It is land conversion fee to be done for storing the dump. 
One is uh, the Kisan Mitra scheme. No one comes forward. So that has been modified to take people from the local area on contract. So we intermediary Manish Monun, we have decided to engage Kisan Mitra who will assist farmers. U17 Football World Cup, Ajagatir, uh, the cabinet has given the approval for all the undertakings that are required. Goa is one of the site. It's not final, but we are staking claim. 2017, but it is also U17. Service guarantee. Act. Possibly before January end, but at the most 15th February, when the act will be operational. That as well as casino rules also we have almost completed. That casino rules will be also applicable by 5th. Uh, 2 8, both, both. Uh, service and casino, those rules. 28, 28. Another jolt to aggrieved MLA Vishnu Vag. Mapsa Sessions Court has granted anticipatory bail to eight suspects in Vishnu Vag attack case. All eight suspects had filed an anticipatory bail plea on 27 December. Accused have argued that attack on Vishnu Vag does not fall under the attempt to murder category. Meanwhile, police had pressed hard for custody of these eight accused, citing it vital for cracking the case. Mapsa Sessions Court on Thursday granted anticipatory bail to eight suspects in MLA Vishnu Vag attempt to murder case. Vishnu Vag was assaulted by a mob of 60 to 70 on 19 December at Revoda while he was on his way back from a Kirtan festival organized by NCP State President Nirkan Hankar. In his complaint filed with Mapsa Police, Vishnu had named Yashwan Sodankar, Prasad Sinari, Kamu alias Audu Tharankar, Ritesh Varkankar, Anand Varvaikar, Anand Temkar, Suraj Kamli, Ladu Kubal and Chari. Police has arrested Audu Tharankar but he got bail within two days of his arrest. Other eight accused had approached the court saying that they have been named in the complaint due to political reasons. Accused placed their arguments during the anticipatory bail plea hearing. Vishnu Vak says that he was assaulted with fists and blows, but Vishnu's hurt certificate suggests injuries on chest area. The charges of attempt to murder doesn't apply here. My clients are being falsely implicated in this case. Police oppose the anticipatory bail plea of eight accused in Vishnu Vak attack case. They say the custody of these eight accused is very vital in order to crack Vishnu Vag attack case. Their custody will reveal the motive behind attack and the whereabouts of all accused involved in the case. If they are let out at this stage, they might tamper with evidences. Anticipatory bail will affect investigation. Our contentions were, contentions were that 307 is not applicable and in the present case. And considering our arguments and political motivation, how these accused have been implicated, falsely implicated in the case, judge has granted all the eight accused anticipatory bail on a condition that they shall report to the investigating officer from tomorrow, that is from 9 a.m. to 12, 12 noon okay. and furnish surety of rupees 10,000. The first order in order was that the Prima Fasi 307 section is not applicable in this case. Therefore, they were that Kamu Alankar was arrested, was entitled for bail at that relevant time. And Yachi bail on that basis was considered Kela. Senior reporter Lokik Shilkar with video journalist Tulshidas Chari for Prudent. Aam Admi Sarkar in Delhi passed the acid test by gaining majority in assembly on Thursday. AAP has won the trust motion. 37 MLAs cast their votes in favour of AAP Congress government. Congress has backed AAP to win the trust motion. Apart from BJP's staunch opposition, AAP faced a bit of criticism from Congress on their free water for Delhiites. Chief Minister K. Jival reiterated his government's commitment to provide basic amenities to the common man. अलग अलग पार्टियों को अलग अलग अपना मैंडेट दिया जिसमें सबसे ज्यादा मैंडेट भारतीय जनता पार्टी के पक्ष में दिया गया और फिर आपने उसी भ्रष्ट कांग्रेस के साथ मिलकर दिल्ली के अंदर जो गठबंधन की सरकार बनाई तो आपकी क्या मजबूरी थी ये इस देश के लोग निश्चित रूप से जानना चाहते हैं जो आप 
घोषणा करें उसके पीछे जो है बैकिंग जो है लेजिस्लेशन की जरूर होनी चाहिए दिल्ली के लोगों के हित के अंदर जो भी कदम उठाएंगे मेरे और मेरे दल का पूर्ण सहयोग आपके साथ रहेगा ये मैं हाउस के अंदर कहना चाहता हूँ ये लड़ाई देश से भ्रष्ट राजनीति समाप्त करके सच्चाई और ईमानदारी की राजनीति कायम करने के लिए आज इस सदन के सामने प्रश्न है कि इस सदन का कौन कौन सदस्य देश में सच्ची और ईमानदार राजनीति कायम करने की इस लड़ाई का हिस्सा बनना चाहता है और तीसरा प्रश्न मैंने इस सदन के सामने सत्रह मुद्दे रखे हैं जी आज इस सदन के सामने प्रश्न है कि कौन कौन सदस्य इन मुद्दों का समर्थन करते हैं यह विश्वास प्रस्ताव सदन के सामने है जो इसके पक्ष में है वो खड़ा हो जाए जो बैठ जाइए हो गया जो विपक्ष में है वो खड़ा हो जाए हां पक्ष जीता जो सरकार प्रस्ताव पास हुआ मंत्री जी और मंत्रिमंडल आप सबको बधाई हो इट्स टाइम फॉर अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक स्टेट यूंड